This is Jake, and I run the Chess Club at the Creston Dement Library, and I'm glad you're joining me today. This is the first in a series of videos I have planned to help new chess players learn the basics of the game. In this video, I will cover where you can play chess online and different resources that can help you or your child become a better chess player. So, how do you play chess online? There are many websites or phone apps that allow you to play chess online. I'll cover some of the reasons why you may want to choose a certain website to play and learn chess with. While most chess players are friendly and well-mannered, and I personally have never had a problem with players being rude or vulgar, I will show how to disable the live chat feature on each of these suggested websites to help ensure it is a friendlier space for young children to play on. Keep in mind, any of the opinions discussed here are my own, and you may not agree with me. I encourage you to do your own research and find which website works best for you. I will provide a link to each website discussed here in the description below the video. Each of these websites also have an app that are available to download for either iOS or Android phones and tablets. First, we have chess.com. Chess.com is where I personally play chess online and where I will be recording upcoming videos. The reasons I play on chess.com are the look of the site, and the puzzles are, I find, better than the other options I have listed here. Unfortunately, these puzzles and computer analysis of your own games are limited without a subscription. For example, you can only have the computer analyze one game per day without a subscription. However, the bot matches against the computer on chess.com are good for a variety of skill levels of different players, unlike some other sites. This is also the most popular site do not in small part to the name of the site, and here I will show you how to disable the live chat feature on chess.com. First, come to your home page or just on any page of the website. Go to your settings here at the bottom left. Go to privacy. And now turn on safe mode. Don't forget to hit save. This will disable chat, messages, and comments on the site. Next up, we have ChessKid.com. ChessKid is a child-friendly site owned by Chess.com. It's a great site with a fun look and learning targeted toward children with lessons and puzzles of the appropriate difficulty level and includes a puzzle duel game mode. As this is a child-friendly site, it does not have a live chat feature enabled by default. Next up, we have the Chess. Despite the fact that I play on chess.com, I would actually recommend Lee Chess more. Although I think the puzzles on chess.com are better, the puzzles on Lee Chess are taken from real games played on the site and are totally free. Unfortunately, this means their difficulty can vary wildly from time to time. Games versus the computer on leechess.com are unfortunately very tough, with the lowest difficulty setting being around 1300 rating, which is quite high for beginners. There are, however, no paid services at all on LeeChess, which means you can analyze an unlimited amount of games with the computer, if you wish, without having to pay a subscription. To disable the chat on LeeChess, go to your username on the top right-hand corner of the screen, click Preferences, and go to Kid Mode. Next, all you have to do is type in your password and click Enable Kid Mode. This is a more secure version for young kids, as a parent will need to enter the password to change the setting. The final site for actually playing Chess Online is Chess24. Unfortunately, I don't have much experience with Chess24, so I can't give much of an opinion on it, but I felt I should still include it, as it is still a fairly popular site. To disable the chat function on Chess24, go to the banner, Click on My Profile. Find the Settings tab. Under that, click on Game. Scroll down a little bit. You will click on this checkbox, which will disable chat. And that's all. Finally, if you already know the basics of chess, such as how to move the pieces, I'd like to recommend other YouTube channels you can check out while we cover the very basics on this channel. Again, I'll put a link to all of these channels in the description below. The first channel I'd like to recommend is the Atlanta Chess Club YouTube channel, which is run by the Grandmaster Ben Feingold, 
has a wide variety of different topics for all skill levels. The second channel I'd like to recommend is John Bartholomew's channel. John is an international master with many beginner-friendly videos on his channel. Thirdly, the channel Chess Network is run by a United States Chess Federation national master that simply goes by the name Jerry. He is known for his calm voice and fun-loving attitude while sharing his chess knowledge. And finally, Agadmeter's Chess Channel. Agadmeter has the largest chess channel on YouTube, and he excels at bringing his love for chess to the masses. Thank you for joining me in exploring the online world of chess. I hope you join me for another chess video very soon.